Stefan family, what's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel, Worst Epic Gamer here, and uh, we've got a brand new hero in the game to discuss today, guys, came out of nowhere. Honestly, I wasn't expecting this, uh, kind of surprised me, threw me out for a loop. When I checked it out this morning, I'm like, what? This guy is out today, uh, most likely I was expecting him to come out on Sunday, so pretty weird, but pretty cool. I'm excited he's here, we also got Adis in the Conjuring Stone right now too, so that's two new heroes that I don't really have maxed out at all. So let's just get right into it guys, let's see how long this is going to take me to get, I got one free pull, and if I pull this guy on my free pull, I will literally take out my shirt and run down the street. Tch, of course not, which is pretty good. Alright, open up 4,000, can we get him? Let's go! Yes sir! Yes sir! Rakash, the bloodthirsty. Hmm, okay. A little spin-off on, like, Blood Spear, right? <sighs> Alright. Alright, I like it. I'm gonna like it. I like it. Looks pretty awesome. Spear Thrower. Rakosh the Dosh. Ooh, that's a lot of Rakoshes right there. How many did we get total? 32 pieces out of 100? Hmm. If I can go... If I continue on, I might be able to four-star him fairly easy but you know what i'm not gonna do it guys i am still on my spending strike and check this out they try to get me with this 10 bucks to get the new skin for adis i am not falling for it i'm not gonna do it guys i'm gonna stay true to what i said i was not gonna do but let's go ahead let's break down rapidash and let's see what this guy is all about let's see his abilities i'm sure he's got an awakening right correct awakening obviously conjuring stone hero now, let's go ahead, let's break it down. First of all, his ultimate ability here uses the last remaining 40% of his health to go into Suicidal Frenzy, which greatly raises his physical attack and attack speed for a short time. Wow, what the heck? Uh, though this kind of doesn't make any sense. Uses the last remaining 40% of his health and he goes into a frenzy, and it's obviously going to increase his speed and his uh, physical attack. But the problem is, if that's his last remaining 40% health, does that mean he's going to die? That doesn't make any sense. Or it's 40% of whatever health he's on. Obviously, that makes more sense, but the way they worded it doesn't make any sense. The last remaining 40% of his health. Alright, either way, very simple, but... Could work out here. I'm trying to think which other heroes have this type of ability where it just raises up their, you know what I mean, their stats. Bloodspear, but Bloodspear did the whole team. This guy just does it to himself. Right off the bat, first impression, raid hero, guys. Raid or Hall of Legend, right off the bat here. If he's going to be dealing a lot of damage, raid hero, single target damage too, probably. All right, second ability, Rakash. Throws his burning spear at an enemy, dealing physical damage to them. The burning spear also causes enemies to burn. Obviously, it's a burning spear, uh, which causes additional damage over time. Okay, more damage. Third ability, blood magic. Uh, Rakash makes us of his blood magic. I'm pretty sure that's misspelled. Rakash makes use of his blood magic. Come on, Lilith. What the heck is going on, bro? Mistakes everywhere. Jesus Christ. Rakash makes use... <laughs> Rakash makes us of his blood magic to heal the most injured ally, which allows them to gradually recover health over time. Okay, I like it. I like it. And actually, I don't like it. That's a terrible ability right there. Are you kidding me right now? So he's going to actually heal one of your allies? Boy, that's kind of the last thing I expected from this guy. Like, healing? Okay, I guess it could come into some kind of effect. Alright, Blood Spear, fourth ability. Rakash uses his blood magic to greatly strengthen his magic armor. What a waste of a couple of abilities right here. Are you, this, so literally, the only thing that he's going to do is keep throwing fiery burning spears... Right? And then eventually get his ultimate off, which will just make him throw his spears a lot faster. And then everything else is a health and then a physical armor boost. Not the greatest abilities. Let's take a look at his final awakening ability here. What doesn't kill Rakash only makes him stronger. Yes. 
Rakash's attack speed increases, the lower his health falls. Alright, so that's actually pretty dope. Wow, so this guy is going to be like attacking at an unbelievable pace, guys. Alright, so let's go ahead, let's get him to level 100 here. We're going to upgrade him as much as I can, and then we're going to show him off in some battles. Let's see what Rakash is all about. But if I'm correct in assuming that this guy is going to literally just throw burning spears... The only place that I can see this guy being useful at is going to be the raids, guys. Raids. The arena, I just do not see this guy being really good in the arena. I don't know why I don't see it. I just feel like these type of heroes, they just don't have enough. Usually, they don't have enough armor. That's number one. All right, let's take him to orange plus two here. All right, orange plus two is where we will stop. Not enough armor at all, so I got 80 ability points to spread around here. So let's do 20 in each ability and let's see how that takes us. Let's see what he looks like. Oh, 21 there. All right, let's do the remaining on this one. 23. Alrighty then. Passive increased armor by 3. All right, okay, not bad. So those are his abilities, guys. A little breakdown of his abilities. Now, let's go ahead. Let's take this guy into a, some kind of a battle so I can see his action. All right, guys. So here we are. Campaign battle. It's just him, himself, and himself. With no protection here. Let's see how long he can survive for. The stage is actually not too strong, but it's actually a perfect stage for him. So as I said, this is exactly what I thought he was going to do. He just literally throws his burning spear, which is the second ability. Now, let's go into his ultimate here as soon as I'm not silenced. Come on! All right, ultimate. All right, so whatever happened to losing is 40% of his health. But I think, wow, lifesteal is so important on this guy. Yeah, so literally. All right, so he does heal himself as well, which is pretty cool. I thought it was going to be only an ally, but it could work on himself. Maybe if there's no allies around. So that works. 22,000 there, that's okay. All right, let's go into this ultimate here and let's see what we're going to do. So, boom. All right, so not only does he... All right, so his attack speed increases, his attacks, attack increases, physical armor, I mean, physical attack increases, speed increases, but he charges at the enemy. And I'm guessing that's how he gets that 40% minus on his health. Let's take a look at it right now. All right, here in slow-mo. Boom! Did that get interrupted? Oh, my God. I think that got interrupted there. Oh, my God! Yikes! That was total obliteration by Gizmo there. Alright, let's go into a lesser of a stage here. That one was a little bit too difficult, but let's see. Oh my god, even this one might be too difficult. Armor weak, like we said. No, we need this ultimate right away here. Boom! 40% of his health, but he does regain it in an... Alright guys, so his health regain is insane. It's really, really, really good. Lifesteal, work on his lifesteal. Wowzers, Bowsers. Yeah, this guy is literally just flinging spears around. We don't need to see anymore. I know exactly what this guy does. So there you have it, guys. A pretty simple hero here, I would say. I don't think it's anything complicated. I definitely do think that he could probably one day max him out. Seven star could definitely be really good end game raid hero because of just all the crazy lifesteal that he's got and all that attacking that he's going to be doing just constant 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 attacking especially the single target bosses that's going to be really really effective hall of legends probably useful too uh arena i just don't see it man arena i don't think he's going to deal anywhere near enough damage he needs to and his armor is definitely too low so you're not going to be using him in the arena but pretty cool for raids so i kind of want to see what he does what he's capable of but for now, that's pretty much it, guys. That's Rakash for you. Hope you enjoy him. Hope you like him. Let me know in the comments if you guys what you guys think about him. Am I right? Do I think this guy is a raid hero or is he another Gizmo? Right? Is he just like my boy Gizmo and just never to be used in the game, just released for the heck of it? That would suck. Anyways, that will do it for today, guys. I will catch you on the next Soul Hunters video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.